Hey guys, welcome back to the first semi-final match of the D1 Recruits versus D1 Grads U2 tournament sponsored by Selinko. So for this semi-final match, we have to Toby and Luis. And you guys have played each other a bunch of times, so this is almost like a fun practice set, yeah. just on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you guys head-to-head -head is, if you had to guess? He definitely wins more, but... Mm. I don't know. We don't play a lot of like sets. We just do like really? yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. but we played one time at a PTT and it yeah. was pretty close. I think it was four and four. Yeah. So who won? He did. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he edged through a little bit. Yeah. Also, Luis is the only D one grad, aka adult, left. Yeah. We've got three juniors plus Luis, so you got to represent. The yeah. Adults. I'll try my best <laughs> yeah, for sure. So for anyone who hasn't seen the other matches, can you give them an idea of what your UTR is at? I think I dropped a little bit. I'm like a 11-1. Okay. Yeah, like 12-1. Okay. And then game styles? I would say I'm more of a counter puncher. Yeah. Aggressive base slider. <laughs> yeah. So this would be a fun match. Yeah. yeah One guy just ripped yeah. in it. <laughs> so you guys have played uh, plenty of times before. Um, what do you think you want to try to do strategy-wise today against each other? You can talk about it in front of each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> you go first? Uh, you go first. Okay. For me, I know that Toby <laughs> likes to play aggressive, so I'm. Going to f I'm going to focus on my first serve percentage and playing behind my first serve, not getting behind the rallies, not playing neutral and not letting him dictate and play on top of the baseline. Um, so similar to last time, I'm going to try to focus on myself and playing yeah. on the front foot, even though I do prefer to play more yeah. of a counter punching style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Just rip. Yeah, I will rip, but also, <laughs> I'm, I mean, last year I said I was going to come into the net and didn't do it too much, but uh, I think, you know, if I get short balls, I'm gonna try coming in, but Luis has really good passing yeah. shots. Yeah. He's really crafty, um, so it'll, it'll be tough, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll rip. <laughs> and so. maybe clean up your second serve. Clean up, clean up. <laughs> I, I've cleaned it up. I've cleaned okay, it up. okay, <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right guys, for making it to the semifinals, we got some Slinko string. So for Luis, you can take the tour bite, because I you. know you were using tour bite awesome. before. Appreciate it. And for Toby, here's some Slinko Hyper G. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so what racket strings intention are you actually using for the match today? Um, today I'm using the Wilson Blade 98 16 by 19 with um, all the power rough uh, 52 tension. You still do the different tension? No, no, I, I do 52. Yeah, okay. I just do 50. And then yeah, I wait here. I'm doing a V core 98 plus the with a tour 16 gauge on the main and then all the power 16 on the cross. And yeah, it's around like 333, 334 with all the lead tape on the rack and then on the top of the racket and on the grip. Okay. Top and then a little bit on the handle. So Toby and Luis, where did you play college tennis or were you going to be playing college tennis? I'm going to Brown uh, University this following uh, year. Which is a this fall. Ivy League school yep. on D1. So. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Amazing. Appreciate it. Uh, I played at Utah State for one year, it was D1, okay. and then I transferred to UC Irvine for three years. Yeah. And then I did my master's in the UK at University yeah. of Nottingham. Yeah, nice. So representing Irvine today. Yes, yes. Go. <laughs> As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, help me reach 100k subscribers, and leave some nice comments for Toby and Luis for playing today. Only a nice comment. <laughs> Up or down? Down. You say what? Stop. Up. Did you sit down? I sit down. Okay, uh, I'll receive first. Okay. I'll Wait. take uh, um, that set.
Nice ball.
Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Turn on God mode.
It's time to be clutch, Toby. Well, that makes it a little more exciting. <laughs> Before we get started with the outro, I wanted to talk about Luis's past pro experience. So I don't think we ever brought this up in the past videos, but Luis, you played some pro tennis after yeah. college. Yes, How I, I played right after I graduated. I flew out to Germany, played club tennis in Germany, trained at a German club on clay mm -hmm. for, for like a month and then played a bunch of futures in Austria, Belgium, which is where I got my first point on red clay, you Belgium. know, yeah, Belgium and Brussels. Uh -huh. And then played some more tournaments in Germany, then Italy, Spain. I played all over the place. Wow. And then I ended up playing, did like two weeks of training in London. And then I went to Egypt for six wow, weeks. Oh, you all over the <laughs> Yeah, for six weeks after that. And then I came back, took a little bit of time off, did my preseason. And then when I went out to play more Futures, like shortly thereafter, there was uh, the COVID outbreak. And mm. so then I kind of stopped playing Futures. So what ATP ranking and maybe a UTR rating, if you remember, did you yeah, peak Yeah, I remember, yeah, I was like 13-2, 13-1, and then my with I got four ATP points, so okay. I was up like 1,200 and change. Yeah. Yeah. 1,200, my bad. Former pro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was an 8-3 set that Luis won. Um, pretty good playing overall by both. Maybe Luis is just a little more consistent yeah. overall. But uh, what do you guys think about the match? What went well, what didn't? Um, I think, again, this video I had a slow start um, just a slow start you know forehands off like I think just everything was off um, but it, it clicked later mm -hmm. um, 
and I started playing better, but you know, it's hard to play catch up against yeah. Luis, you know, like <laughs> he knows my game really well and he knows how to get me in really unco uh, like uncomfortable positions and stuff. Um, and, you know, even though I felt like I was playing well, he made me feel like, you know, I was playing like, <laughs> like crap, you know. But <laughs> he looked like a wizard out there. Just I know, I know. Ball, like, slice, like, slice, like, top spin, slice. You know, he knows how to, you know, he's really crafty and he yeah. knows how to make you feel like you're playing bad even if you're playing well and mm -hmm. he makes you miss balls that mm -hmm. you know usually don't miss and you're like oh my gosh like why am i missing that mm -hmm. you know but um i think like yeah obviously in the beginning you know and i still gotta work on my second serve and mm -hmm. getting the you know i think my serve was better before but yeah. it's it's been a little off recently but uh -huh. i mean it'll 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 click back in place uh -huh. Luis, how would you uh dissect this match what went well for you and I think putting a lot of balls in play was really good. I try to play offense when I had the opportunities. I think he gave me a lot of opportunities with kind of those kick first serves where because he was feeling a little bit of, I don't know, lack of confidence on his second serve. So he just wanted to start the points off, which was nice for me because I just felt like even if I got broken back, I could break eventually, even if it wasn't the next game. So it just took a lot of pressure off of me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, um, I think it was, there's a lot of like good long points. It was funny to yeah, see him like in position for a lot of shots that I thought would be like either winning shots <laughs> uh -huh. or would give me a big advantage. Yeah. Cause obviously we know each other's games are really well yeah. now, but yeah, I thought I served well at times. Mm -hmm. Uh, I served out of the, out of one game, I think 1540. Yeah. And I think it would have been a lot closer. I think tennis is kind of like a game of confidence a lot of times and yeah, I think I just did enough today to separate myself yeah. score wise and I think yeah, that was a big difference. Yeah. I think we I think we had some close games, right? Yeah. Like yeah. I was up forty thirty on one of my service games, yes. lost that. I was up forty thirty, forty fifteen on You had at least three games where yeah, yeah, he could have yeah, won yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. But easily. I mean it's a game of you know margins and yeah. Yeah. I couldn't convert on those. But yeah. he played he played better. But yeah, no, yeah, like he was putting so much pressure on my on my service games, like deep returns, and uh -huh. yeah. I just felt like I really couldn't do, you know, too much off of like start, you know, yeah. ahead of the rally. Like yeah. I was just getting feeling so much. Do you, Luis, you hit so many balls that I feel like just right on the baseline. I know, it's ground like strokes on the line. It's crazy. <laughs> In junior tennis, I went and slide. <laughs> and no camera. <laughs> Luis, you've played uh, college tennis, pro tennis, um, so. After all of these experiences, do you have any advice for Toby's game going into college tennis at Brown? Yeah, so I would say have like the growth mindset, which is a very cliche thing to say. Um, and the other biggest thing, which wait, wait, is, what does the growth mindset mean? Then? Mainly just focusing on getting better, not focusing so much on the results, especially mm. at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're when you go in as a freshman or this summer, you have just so much areas in your game where you can yeah. improve, and you yeah, know that yeah, I yeah. think. And so even if the results still go in your way mm -hmm. for one week, the next week you could do really, really well. And tennis is a crazy mm -hmm. sport in that way. And so that's what I mean by okay, growth mindset. And then the other biggest thing is the confidence thing, which I said the same thing to Jack yeah. is under pressure, playing with confidence. Today is a very good example. If the serve doesn't, like if it doesn't feel good and you start to decelerate or you start to not go after your first serve, it like your game just feels like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like muted, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, the thing that's helped me the most when I'm feeling like lack of confidence on the court is even when something like that is happening, I'm still going for my serve, especially my first serve, I can gain a big advantage. I just maybe would focus on making the, the targets a little bit smaller, maybe going more towards the body, slicing the first serve in, um, into the body, maybe getting some shorter balls like that. You never know because the other player doesn't know where you're going to serve, yeah. especially on the first serve. It's a lot more difficult to read. So. Continuing to go for your shot, you're going to make errors and you're going to make some amazing shots as well. And just continue trusting your game. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, listen to his advice. He's yeah, a UCI coach. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coach, you Luis, have to. coach Luis has, uh, has very good knowledge. All right, guys, if you're really enjoying this tournament series, I've set up a GoFundMe where you can donate um, to the players. After the whole tournament series, I'll divvy up the donations to all the players. So again, if you really like this series and want to help the players out, feel free to. As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, leave some nice comments for these two, and we'll see you on the next one.